possession and turning it over to their offense. That can be a little bit deflating. Exactly right. A lost opportunity. And he'll be out of bounds all the way down to the six. And here comes play number six on this drive. How about that scramble by Andrew Luck? Sometimes we forget just how fast Andrew Luck is when he came you out of the middle of the field. He was still and he grew up a big soccer guy over in Europe, so he knows how to use his feet. That he does, and I think it has helped his legs along the way as well. Yeah, I'm going to have to pick Grams up. <laughs> <laughs> it's so fucking simple. Not simple, but it's understandable. It's Just shy of midfield all the way to the 49. 
And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz game, and you can drop anyone out of your defensive front. Defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone more and more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. It's always a good play when you're able to battle power away or down because if you actually tip it in the air, now the offense is getting a second shot at catching the football or another receiver may come along and grab it out of the air and turn it into a big play. Okay, so hey, we'll play that guy's second quitter, nigga. <laughs> Watch that shit. Here's Palmer. He's going to fire on deep over the middle. That's caught inside the 20. We'll be the bitch ass nigga that fucking bitch. And his guys are going to add on their lead. So not only is that his third touchdown catch of the game, he's done it here in the first half. I'm not sure defensively what they're going to come up with to slow him down. Because already we're seeing him run past through guys in order to make these catches. And being able to try and shut him down at this stage of the game, it's going to take a lot of effort. So maybe it'll open things up for some other people. They better figure something out and soon. Out comes the Steeler offense now, ready to see what they can do here. And last time out, went for it on fourth down. Turned it over, gave a great field position. Turned it to six points, so they've got to recover here. Charles. It's amazing what one decision can do in the chain of events, right? The decision to go for it on fourth down. Caused all of that. It caused every bit of it, but it showed confidence. Hey, I've got confidence in you guys. Go pick it up. Bro. Didn't happen. Also showed confidence in the defense. They didn't pick up their end of the bargain. So now they've got to go back out and start over and rebuild that confidence. Now it's going the other way. Oh. It is that to that the 21 yard line. So out now comes the offense back onto the field. And they'll be looking to build off of a nice drive last time, a drive that really relied on the quarterback. Making good decisions, distributing the ball well, distributing it accurately, keep, keeping it away from danger. A really nicely run drive. Okay, now the down. defense, what adjustments do they need to make? Pass rush, pass rush, pass rush. Let's see. Maybe you bring additional guys, but you've got to disrupt the timing of that throw. And he will take this one in for a touchdown. Damian Williams taking it in from the 20. And his guys find a way to stretch that lead. Well, partner, that was another explosive run, and one thing I've learned in our time in this game, yes, the offensive line has to get a lot of credit, but for big runs to occur, the wide receivers have to block well downfield. And then you have to have a good guy carrying the ball, too, right? Oh, without a doubt, you need that difference maker lugging the rock. The kickoff team on the field now is they will send this one away. Here's Cooks on the return. And an excellent return there as he's up to the 35 but make it the 40-yard line. The Steelers' offense now, they head back onto the field. And last time, not only the turnover, but that turned into six points. They got to make up for that here. We always hear about empty possessions, but some are worse than others. You get an empty possession, punt the ball away, get yourself set to put defense. But when you turn it over, it changes momentum. And when they take it downfield and punch it in on you, that's a bad possession all the way around. Yeah, but you're hungry to get back out there, aren't you? You better be, because otherwise, it's going to be a long day for you. And he's got to complete to Stephon Diggs. And he'll get 16 yards there. And the Steelers are going to have a first down. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. Now Locke. Looking for Benjamin, but it's intercepted. Picked off by the former first-round pick, Kevin Johnson. And his guys were... Bye. Your ass, dude. Just leave. <laughs> I wish you could hear us. Hmm? I wish you could hear us. Oh, put on YouTube.